I'm a Dr. Murugan. Um, I'm a consultant general, uh, minimally invasive and thoracic surgeon. Minimally invasive means keyhole surgeon. So currently I'm working at the Penang Adventist Hospital. Gallbladder is actually a small pear-like uh, organ located at the right side of the abdomen beneath the liver and it is connected to the bile duct in the liver. So the gallbladder is actually the right side the, below the ninth rib. The function of the gallbladder is basically just a storage of bile which is uh, produced by the liver. So its a function is a storage. Whenever we eat uh, oily food or fatty food, it will squeeze and uh, push the bile through the bile duct into the intestine for oily food digestion. So basically, it's a storage, not essential for life. That means we can we can live without gallbladder. The bile is actually produced by the liver continuously. So gallbladder is just like a water tank. It's a storage tank. Gallstone is actually is a precipitate or a crystal formation of the uh, contents of the bile. When there is an imbalance of the bile acids, bile salt, water, protein, so the, the, the precipitate, sometimes like, a, like in a jar or a syrup jar, you can see the precipitate, the sugar precipitate, same thing. So this precipitate is like a very small sand and become joined together and become a large uh, stone. So basically when there is an imbalance of the bile salt and protein and the cholesterol, you can get a uh, gall stone. If the age of 40 to 50 years old and above, they are tend to get a gallstone disease. Female sex, eh, they, they are two times more likely to get a gallstone disease compared to a male. Obesity, obesity, uh, natural uh, risk factors to get gallstone disease. Um, uh, you know, oily food, eh, uh, especially from the meat, uh, they are higher chances of uh, getting uh, gallstone disease. Diabetes. Diabetes, they are more, uh, they are prone to get a fatty, you know, uh, cholesterol, high cholesterol, and they are, tend to get gallstone disease. And also, there are many other factors such as sudden loss of weight. Eh? Those who are on a crash uh, diet eh, to lose weight also prone to get gallstone disease. If you are on high, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, alimentary diet when you are in a hospital, when you are total parental nutrition, you can get a gallstone disease and other uh, liver diseases such as liver cirrhosis. There are many other factors of getting gallstone disease and these are. By taking healthy diet, healthy diet as well as exercise. So the healthy diet means more fibers, low fat. If you need to take a uh, fat, you can take like a, uh, you know, um, like a uh, unsaturated fat, unsaturated like a, you know, olive oil, so on. Mono, you know, saturated fat, eh? butter from butter or from the red meat are not good. They are predisposed for, uh, you know, gallstone. Majority of the patient eh, with the gallstone, they are asymptomatic. They miss no symptom at all. But many of them have a mild to severe symptom. Mild symptom is like a pain. Basically, pain you can have in the right side of the abdomen gastric region or even at the shoulder or at the back uh, and the pain can be mild to severe and sometimes the pain can mimic gastritis gastric problem so uh, you know uh, so they always mistaken when there's a pain they think it's a gastritis uh, other symptoms like uh, when the you know uh, when the disease become more severe they can have fever when there's an inflammation, they can have fever and then they can have uh, chills, rigors and, and if there's a stone drop into the bile duct, blocking the bile duct from the gallbladder, uh, it can cause jaundice, become yellow and nausea, vomiting is one of the uh, other symptoms they cannot exclude and sometimes it can cause damage to other organs, for example pancreas, it can cause severe pancreatitis, life-threatening uh, inflammation of the bile duct uh, called choringitis. So these are life-threatening. So gallbladder may be asymptomatic until life-threatening. These are very sad uh, symptoms. 
we have a few uh, investigation can be done, uh, which includes ultrasound. It's one of the commonest uh, non-invasive uh, without you know, the radiation. We can do ultrasound. It's very good for the liver and the gallbladder. We can check the gallstones, the thickening of the gallbladder wall, whether there's any inflammation. If let's say the stone drop into the bile duct, we can we have other uh, scan as well like a, a MRI, MRCP, which can detect stone in the bile duct. CT scan is a, a other diagnostic test. But before we do the imaging, we always do a, a simple blood test, uh, and, and there'll be an abnormality in the liver function test if there's a blockage of the bile duct. Just cold stone disease alone, without any complication, the liver function test usually normal. If you have a gallstone, no complication, no symptom, you no need to treat. If, if there's a symptom, like for, for example, pain, uh, you know, you have uh, recurrent pain, vomiting, nausea, then you need to treat. The commonest, uh, you know, treatment is actually uh, surgery. Okay, we do a surgery. So previously, we used to do uh, open surgery, where we do an incision below the subcostal line, and so now. We, we, you, we minimize the size of incision, we do a laparoscopic surgery or keyhole surgery. Usually they have a three or four port in the abdomen and we can suck it out, we can remove the gallbladder together with the stone. We need to remove the gallbladder, if not the stone will form again. So there are many uh, you know, uh, advances from the laparoscopic surgery, they reduce the size of the incision. For laparoscopic surgery, normally the conventionally is actually uh, 10 millimeter, uh, 10 mm, two 10 millimeter pot and two 5 millimeter pot. So now we have a mini laparoscopic uh, surgery where we have five millim 10 millimeter and 5 and 3 millimeter, become smaller and smaller the incision. The recent one is, is called a single pot uh, you know, incision where they have a lot of uh, new technology where we can remove the gallbladder just with a single incision. And that pot also can be used for other intra-abdominal surgery like a colon or bowel and a, you know, a small bowel and infect stomach also can be done. So, so what we do, uh, if, uh, whether uh, medical checkup is necessary for to detect a gallstone, it's not like a absolutely necessary like a cancer. However, uh, if those who have a gastric pain, which is very common, gastric pain is better to do an ultrasound for checkup, make sure there's no gallstone because gastric gastritis or gastric pain uh, usually is maybe due to a gallstone disease. So it's, uh, it's commonly, so when you do is when you have gastric pain, if the doctor given you medication to reduce acidity but no improvement, then you need to think about gallstone disease.